Hey, good morning, everybody. It's March 14th, 2018, and this is episode 12 of the Michael Pena Senior Show. I hope you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Like my page on Facebook at Pena Financial Coaching. If you're watching this right now, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And listen, um, episode 11, we talked about buying a home. Take a look at my blog at michaelpianasenior.com. Simple calculations there. I want this to be a fun time in your life. And it's and it is. It's an exciting time in your life to buy a home. Look at that blog. Watch episode 11 about buying a home. And uh, you, you, can, you can get some good advice right there and some simple calculations. If you need help, please get in touch with me. We can go over it. Send me an email at coachp2210 at yahoo.com if you have a question to see whether or not you're ready to buy a home. Again, I want it to be a fun, exciting time. I want it to be part of your American dream because I believe it's part of the American dream. I don't want it to be part of your American nightmare. So Vince Lombardi said, the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. And that goes with talking about the budget. I need and want you to be successful. I really do. Everybody that is following me, everybody that becomes a client of mine, the reason why I'm doing this is I want you to have financial success. I really do want you to be successful with your money. I want you to do the right things with your money. But if you're not putting the work in yourself, and it starts with that budget, you got to put the work into the budget to be successful. You can't you can't win the Super Bowl if you don't put the work in. All right. If you my my heroes are Bill Parcells, uh, Vince Lombardi, these guys, you know, could be bastards on the other side of the, uh, on the sideline because they're making sure that everybody's putting that work in. If the if the you know Bill Belichick, I mean, the people get pissed about Bill Belichick, Bill Bel Bill Belichick that's playing for them. But if you, if but the reason why they get mad is because they make them work. You got to work to be successful, okay? So, people are having fun watching my snippets on Pino Financial Coaching. I got a lot of good comments yesterday about some of the stuff that I'm putting on there, and I'll talk about some of my endorsed local providers. Those are guys that are, that I trust. That guys that are working on my home. I've got uh, Bob Baca. You know, I'll talk about Bob Baca first. He's my electrician. You can reach him at 781-767-9676. He's right out of Holbrook, Massachusetts. And uh, Tim Owens, my handyman special. It's 508-944-8977. This guy will do whatever you need to get done in your home. So these are people that I trust to get, to come into my home. I'm, I'm going to start having more at michaelpinasenior.com. I'll have a section. I'll make sure that you scroll down and you see all my endorsed local providers. So take a look at that. If you need something done or you're confused, I talked about you know Dan Rayberg from Liberty Mutual. I trust this guy. He's done a lot of good work for us and my family. There are people in your life and there are things that you can save money on if you have the right people doing the work for you on your home and in and, and, in your in your life so make sure that if you need somebody or if you've got something going on that you're spending money on i'm going to have that on my website and again if you're looking for a home i'm going to have you know molly norris will be on there churchill mortgage these are things and people that you need to get in touch with so i'll have that on my website at michaelpinasenior.com and take a look at that and one of the endorsed local providers that i want to talk about is the ASPCA. Uh, for us in Brockton, they're located at 1300 West Elm Street Extension. That phone number is 508-586-2053. If you're thinking of getting a pet, I'd like you to go look at that them first. And the reason why I bring that up is because people are excited about some of the pet videos that I showed. And we have three dogs. We, we're dog lovers, absolutely love our dogs. We have Scotty, he's 17. Uh, we have Iverson, he's 10. That's my Jack Russell. And we have our lovely lady. She's uh, three years old, 
two out of those three dogs, Scott and Lady, we got we got from the shelter. And they have been absolutely wonderful. They they really you know, you can save money by going there instead of buying the dog. And you can give these dogs who need a home, a home, a wonderful home and a wonderful life. And they just seem to be, the, these dogs just seem to, to, to get it. They, they seem to love the fact that you save them. So go check that out if you're looking for a pet. And, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to recommend that you don't look for a pet until you're out of baby step two at least. Because that, that's, that's the reason why I'm bringing up pets right now. Because th they're an expense. I want to make sure that you understand. That's why I'm videotaping. I'm videotaping everything on Pino Financial Coaching uh, on Facebook that I'm spending money on. And I want you to understand that pets are an expense. And you have to be prepared for those expenses. We have in our budget line uh, a, a pet expense. So you have to be prepared for that before you get a pet. Make sure you have the right home for them. If you've gotten a home, congratulations, right? We, we talked about that yesterday. And, and you want to fill that home, whether it be with babies or fur babies. So um, there are, are fur babies. And we make sure that we prepare for them. There are expenses, the vet appointments, food. I mean, we, we believe in feeding them neutral max because, again, just... You know, just like human beings, what you put into that body is what you're going to get out of them. We make sure that we feed them right. So you want to make sure that you're feeding them right. You prepare for that. That's about 50 bucks a bag, a big bag. And that, you know, for the three dogs, it lasts them a month. So it's pretty simple to figure out the expense for that. What you can't figure out is a uh, youngest dog, Lady, she had undetected hotworms after we had gotten her from the shelter. And it was an expense that was very unexpected. It was about $2,000 to, to basically put her through the process of getting rid of those hot worms. And we had to make the choice, do we keep her or do we put her down? And at the time, she was only two, two years old, two and a half years old. And we made the simple choice. This is our fur baby. We can't, we can't let anything happen to her. And it was the bi biggest expense that we've ever had for a, for a pet. You know, there is pet insurance. If somebody knows more about it, let me know because we, we, we don't we don't have it. So if you if you believe in pet insurance, let me know what the cost of that is. I, I haven't done any research on it. We've never had it. But if you know about it, let me know. But that was a big expense and had to come out of our basically our emergency fund to be able to pay for her. So make sure that you know the expenses on your pets. And if you are looking for a pet, and I'm talking about dogs, I'm, I'm sorry, cat people, but I'm a dog lover. And, you know, I'm not saying if you not to get a cat because the, the a ASPCA have plenty of cats, plenty of animals. Check them out first before you go buy one from a pet store. Please check them out first. Okay. So with that being said, the only thing I got left to say today is I'm still looking for a videographer, still looking for... Um, uh, online marketers and business developers will be starting a podcast april 1st will be our first podcast and that will come out basically april 2nd will be produced and uh done uh looking for entrepreneurs that 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 aspiring entrepreneurs that that want to be interviewed by me so we're going to talk to them about you know where they where they've been where they are today and where they want to be so Please check out michaelpinasenior.com. Get in touch with me if you have any questions at coachp2210 at yahoo.com. And until next time, guys, it's the Michael Pina Senior Show. I'm living my passion one day at a time. I want to make you successful, and I want us to win together.